Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Naomi. If you haven't met me yet or you are new to my channel, I make videos on personal development, spirituality, and astrology. So today's pick a card reading is all about what you need to know for your highest good right now. Now, I wanna preface that this isn't in the tone of like, what you need to know for your highest good right now. It's not like that. It's just, I simply ask the question, what does the collective consciousness need to know for their highest good right now? If you are new to pick a card readings, here's how it works. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're going to pick the pile or the crystal that you are the most intuitively drawn to. Now, here we have pile one with the citrine crystal. Here we have pile two with the sodalite heart. And then here we have pile three with the semi-polished rhodonite point. If you need more time, please pause the video, but when you are ready and you've chosen your pile, go to the description of this video or the pinned comment, find the timestamp that is linked to your pile, and skip ahead to your reading all about what you need to know for your highest good right now. Let's jump in and I will see you on the inside. Hi pile one, if you chose the citrine crystal, then you are in the right spot. We do have this citrine point in our crystal shop, the Modern Muse Crystal Shop. So if you go to modernmusecrystals.com, you can get your hands on one of these babies if you are interested. So let's dive right into your reading. Okay, so pile one. The first card that we have here is the King of Pentacles. So with the King of Pentacles here, this is really great news to start with. So this represents you earning and receiving material wealth, abundance, and success in the physical world. I do feel like you're gonna be building financial security to last the length of time. Um, you know, this energy, it feels really dreamy, like this big accumulation of wealth. And I just feel like you'll be able to be in the energy of financial overflow. So really there's gonna be this feeling of like, there's not going to be like this wanting or waiting anymore. You're just going to be able to grab it for the taking and it just is going to feel so much more certain for you. Um, I also do feel like these blessings are coming from your discipline and your commitment to your work or whatever project or goal that you've been working on. Um, and you know, this is some big time Taurus energy. So some of you may have this sign somewhere significant in your birth chart or it's just the energy at play here. But I also get that you have this very powerful energy um, about you. And I, you know, I feel like you have this really good way of like influencing others and not through force, but through um, gentle persuasion, through discipline, through commitment, through dedication. So yeah, I think this also comes from you standing in your authenticity, um, you know, doing things the way that you want to do things. Um, in the processes and in the ways that work for you, right? So you might be stepping into some sort of like leadership position in the near future. And if you, you know, if you haven't started already, because um, I do get the feeling that some of you have already got the process going, but yeah, um, quick question. So have you ever like checked in with yourself um, to see if you give your, you know, if you've given yourself the well-deserved credit that you've earned? Because I do feel like, there's every reason to be super proud of yourself. Um, so I want you to think about this. What's one way that you can honor your achievements and how far you've come? You know, think about your favorite way to celebrate um, and with who, you know, with whom do you want to celebrate with? So yeah, there we are with the King of Pentacles. And then the next card we have here is the Three of Swords in Reverse. So with the Three of Swords in Reverse here, I do feel like you can be pretty tough on yourself. Um, you know, the energy of the inner critic or um, negative self-talk, you know, can be a tough one to manage in the moment. And I feel like the key here is to not, you know, 
to not let these self-talk patterns um, get too out of control or too loud. This can be tough for all humans in general, but especially if you're an empath or if you're a highly sensitive person, it can be really easy to like feel deeply hurt or triggered by the fears and the limiting beliefs that others have. You know, maybe this is coming from our loved ones or our coworkers or our friends, you know, maybe just humans in general that pro project these fears towards us based on their own experiences. Um, or shoot, you know, maybe it's ourselves that we're at war with. But either way, one of my favorite exercises to do when my inner critic or like self-limiting beliefs that, you know, they won't be quiet and they won't pipe down. Um, I like to ask myself a few questions um, and it's kind of like this self-guided coaching method. So, you know, I ask myself, are these limiting beliefs ultimately true for me, right? Is it written in stone forever? Is there a new way that I can start to think about this instead? Because I do feel like you're going to reach a point where you can release any like pain or sorrow or grief or loss that you've experienced. And some of you are going to find that forgiveness is going to be a theme for you during this time. And I want to make a note here. Um, you know, forgiveness is removing yourself from in, an emotional debt that you've been carrying around. So this means that, you know, you don't have to excuse the horrible things that have happened to you, but you can forgive the situation when you're ready because it's ultimately going to lead you to more peace of mind. Um, so, you know, when you're ready, of course, take your time. But yeah, I do feel like a lot of you are going to be moving into the energy of acceptance that, you know, so that you can move on. So yeah, I do feel like there's going to be this big emotional release on the horizon for you. I do feel like some of you are going to be writing letters, expressing your emotions, and then tearing them up, right? Destroying that energy in the letter so that you can move on. And for some of you, you may tap into having a good, long, hard cry. Um, and you know, whichever way you go about it, this release is going to feel so good afterwards. So I do feel like there's going to be some huge resilience that comes out of all this in the end. You're going to be a stronger person for it. And I just want to remind you that you are actually a lot stronger than you give yourself credit for. Um, I think the biggest and strongest message coming through right now is that when you get tired, learn to rest and not quit, right? Okay, so next here we have the Citrine Crystal card. So it is the same crystal as this one right here. So to learn more about this crystal and to even get your hands on a piece, just go to modernmusecrystals.com and you'll be able to learn all about this crystal, um, its benefits. So, okay, the back of this card says, you are a rare find. And I love this card. This card is so pretty. It's got a bunch of different crystals on it. And I just love the message behind this. I feel like it's important for you to understand that if you feel different than others, it's because you were meant to be someone who stands out, someone who, you know, kind of challenges the status quo. Um, you're here to show others that everybody has their own unique sense of beauty and their own unique set of talents. And, you know, I think it's about recognizing each of our individual strengths and really honoring what we can bring to the table. Um, the beautiful thing about being a human on this planet right now is that there are so many different people with so many different skill sets and and that come from so many different backgrounds and i think that we just have so much to learn from each other and when you approach life with an open mind it becomes that much more magical so yeah just remember you know your quirks your uniqueness anything that makes you different it it's because you were meant to shine in that way and I think that some of you are, e are even meant to teach on this and meant to teach others to accept themselves um, no matter how different they may feel so yes remember you are a rare find the next card that we have here is the coyote spirit so this one says trust in divine detours so you know, I also feel like a message for you is that there's never failure. 
but only feedback, right? I do feel like some of you may be feeling frustrated with any setbacks, you know, tough lessons, roadblocks, or conflict. And, you know, just know that every unexpected trial that comes up for you, it's actually universal redirection, right? You never actually know what you were being protected from. So, for example, if you applied for a certain job and you didn't get it and you're feeling really bummed out about it, there's still things that maybe you didn't know that you were being protected from, right? So, um, you know, maybe you run into someone who works for the company a year later and they're like, well, thank goodness you didn't end up joining the company because our boss is a complete maniac and he treats us terribly and man, it's just a huge like ethics issue, right? So yeah, I do feel like um, you're going to look back on all of this and realize how much you've learned from everything you've been through. Um, I do feel like you're going to be adopting more of a things are happening for me, um, not to me mindset or perspective. So that's all going to be really refreshing and really good. Okay, and the next card that we have here is the, good to focus, is the Sodalite card. So this crystal is also in the crystal shop. Um, and let's talk a little bit about Sodalite. So this is Sodalite, and you can find this crystal at modernmusecrystals.com. And Sodalite, um, you know, this card... So it says, deepen your intuition. And let me just flip it back over so you can see what the crystal looks like. Okay, and I can even like just, I'll leave it right here. So sodalite is known as the stone of communication. Um, you know, it's associated with benefits like helping you move through fear. Um, it encourages you to speak your truth. Um, it really does boost your communication abilities and it helps you know, writers, singers, speakers. Um, it helps to boost your self-esteem and your self-confidence. And, you know, it helps to also, um, you know, give you the courage to share your work and allow yourself to be seen, to really show yourself as you are. So, Soda Light is a beautiful crystal. Um, and, you know, if you were focusing on some of those things I just talked about or you're struggling with it, just know that Sodalite is actually a really great crystal to use to meditate with, um, maybe to hold when you're doing your creative work or when you're about to have a really serious conversation with someone. Sodalite is going to be your buddy. So, yes. The next card that we have here is the Descendant card. So, this card says Invitation. So I also feel like you're being asked to pay attention to your interactions and your relationships and who you're inviting into your world, like especially energetically, because I can tell that you're super loving and kind and compassionate and you're really accepting of everyone. But I'm wondering if you've ever noticed that some of your relationships may not reflect like an equal energy exchange, right? Maybe you're the one who's a, the giver and the other person just takes, takes, takes until you feel depleted and it feels very one-sided. Um, you know, I, I do feel like you're being asked to remember that not everyone deserves access to your energy. And I'm also getting that like a certain friendship or relationship with someone, maybe it's someone that you went back and forth with, um, you know, maybe you were asking yourself, like, can I even trust them? Where do I stand with them? Um, I'm also hearing that fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me kind of phrase. Um, I feel like you've been giving someone or people like way too many chances. And I think this is going to be a time where you draw some boundaries with others, you know, and yourself lovingly. And this is going to be you know, as a benefit to your mental and emotional well-being. So remember, Pile One, you are allowed to be picky with who has access to you. Okay, and so we have the In the Community card. And then on the back it says Intro. So here with the Intro card it says, When you're in a regular conversation with yourself, you become 
more aware of the conversations you need to have with others. It's time to bring the insights gathered from your inner world into the world around you. Verbalizing what's within can feel intimidating. Thankfully, you de you've developed the skills that will see you through. Listen with your whole body and you'll know when a conversation needs to happen. Inquire within as you prepare, give pep talks as needed. You've cultivated your voice, it's time to share it. Wow, I think that is so amazing because we were just talking about sodalite and how it aids with communication. It helps you have um, some of those tougher but very necessary conversations with others. So if you are going through conflict with someone, um, you know, this is your sign to communicate with this person or at least if you, you know, maybe you're not in contact with this person anymore, um, communicate, let it out, express it, like journal it out, rip it all up, you know, um, you're being asked to express your feelings so that you can process and let go and move on. So yes. And then the next card that we have here is the, um, okay, so it's a self, it's from a self-care deck. And so it says inspiration. And then right here it says, take a rest. A field that has rested gives a bountiful crop, Ovid. So it says, take 10 minutes out of your day to quietly observe the world around you. How can you cultivate this calm energy during times of stress? Wow. Okay, so I'm also getting that some of you are probably like super duper busy, you know, going from one thing to another. Sometimes you feel like, you just can't catch up and honestly I feel like maybe some of you feel like you're even on the edge of burnout so this is your sign to give yourself a break take a rest um, because you are going to function so much better for it and um, yeah I do feel like like for example right this one says a field that has rested gives a bountiful crop say a crop of of um, corn, right? Like a, a cornfield. If it is tended to and nurtured, right, it's going to thrive. Um, when it has everything that it needs, um, it's going to thrive. But if it's not being well nourished, right, kind of like our bodies, if we're not nourishing it with sleep, with proper nutrition, with hydration, with, um, you know, daily movement, um, our energy feels a lot less bountiful. So this is your call to put some self-care in there and um yeah so yes well, thank you so much pile one i hope that this reading resonated with you if you are interested in getting your hands on any of these crystals that you saw in today's video you can visit modernmusecrystals.com and you'll be able to learn more about these crystals and their benefits. And you will also be able to get your hands on one of these pieces if you would like one. Okay, so anyway, thank you so much. I hope you have a beautiful day, Pile 1, and I will see you next time. Bye! Hi, Pile 2. If you chose the Soda Light Crystal here, then you are in the right spot and let's dive right into your reading. Okay, so the first card that we have is the Queen of Swords. Wow, okay, so pile two. Your attention is being brought to some of your innate talents and strengths. So first off, I just wanna say that I feel like you have this level of independence that is just unmatched. Like I can tell that you've come a long way and you've had to do and learn things on your own many of times. And, you know, I feel like you have this natural ability to see things from an objective, higher perspective. And, um, you know, I think that you can see things with honesty. And, you know, I feel like truth, it might be a big theme in your life during this time, whether that's seeking out your own truth, um, learning the truth about something or someone. I also feel like you're very highly perceptive, so you know how to read between the lines. And, you know, I do also feel like you know how to look beyond what people are just saying with their mouths. I feel like actions are a huge thing for you. Um, but yeah, I feel like you have super great judgment. You don't let anyone um, or you're being reminded to not, you know, to not let anyone tell you otherwise or project their lack of awareness onto you, um, onto you. 
only you know yourself on a deeper level and I do get the feeling that people can never really play you so you know somehow I feel like they only end up playing themselves so I feel like there's gonna be a big surge of mental clarity and power that is going to come through for you during this time I also feel like you're going to use your ability to tell it like it is and be honest and objective with others during this time so yeah, I totally see you like setting some boundaries in your relationships and yeah, I just feel like you're going to be setting some much needed boundaries in other situations as well. So the next card that we have here is the Seven of Wands reversed. So I'll just show you the Seven of Wands upright and then I'll show you it reversed. Okay, so with the Seven of Wands reversed here, um, I wonder if some of you have been feeling exhausted or bogged down by the pressure that others are either projecting onto you or maybe um, that you're imposing on your own energy field. So, you know, a good question to ask yourself is what area of life have you been feeling weighed down in the most? You know, is it your career? Is it your relationships? Is it a passion project? Um, I do feel like some of you might struggle with self-doubt. Maybe some of you wonder if you can really do or be or have whatever it is that you have on your heart. Um, so this is your sign to keep chasing after what you believe in. Keep going. Don't let anyone or anything, including yourself, tell you that you can't make it because you absolutely can. And it's just whether you believe it or not. So definitely keep speaking your truth, keep sharing your voice, and keep standing up for what you believe in. Um, some of you might be going through a time or you've already been through it where the people around you are criticizing you or your work or your lifestyle. So this is definitely your call to ignore the BS, right? And draw some boundaries and honor your boundaries as well. Okay, so you're being asked to zoom your perspective out and see the bigger picture with whatever you've been worried or stressing about or overthinking about. You know, like for example, maybe you stop being friends with someone that you used to be close with. Um, and this person, you know, maybe they're kind of flaky or they're like not so great with their communication or, you know, maybe their actions clearly showed you that you weren't of high priority or value in their life. Um, you know, I feel like some of you might have people that, you know, you've dealt with that like they only hit you up when they're bored or they need something. Um, and maybe now you don't see or communicate with them that much, but you know, I just feel like a lot of people look for closure, but when you can't get closure from like speaking with that person or whatever, um, just know that it's okay to feel abandoned and disappointed. Like it's not okay, but like it's a normal human thing, right? I mean, like it's okay. You catch what I'm saying. It's a, it's a normal human reaction, but, um, the bigger picture is that your feelings are valid and they're indicators of either potential boundaries that w were crossed or it's a sign that, you know, honoring your self-worth is going to be something that you prioritize in your relationships. So now I feel like, you know, you're going to be able to realize that now that the friendship is over for good, it's actually better for your mental and emotional health because maybe the both of you are on separate journeys, um, you know, learning two different lessons, walking down two separate paths. Um, and some people are here for a reason, you know, some for a season. And we learn lessons from heartbreak and sadness too. So next time you make a friend and you know you'll make it a rule right that um you are worthy of an equal energy exchange and anybody who embodies that trash energy can get the bye felicia from you period right so yeah absolutely um the next card that we have here is the one second okay so the next card that we have here is this blue bird with the orange and yellow wings. And on the back of this card, it says, speak your truth. So right away, I'm getting the feeling that some of you have some things that would be beneficial to communicate to someone who you feel tension with or who you feel conflict with. Um, I do feel like... Um, Maybe it's, it's tough to like muster up the confidence or the strength to approach conflict like willingly, but just know that not all conflict is bad. Sometimes it's necessary to, um, you know, make shifts in relationships that need to make shifts and changes in. So definitely if you've been holding back on something, speak your truth because there is a message out there that someone needs to hear from you. 
Okay. Now the next card that we have here is the Antelope Spirit. So you know what, let me actually move the cards around just a little bit. Okay, so we have the Antelope Spirit card here. So it says life is speeding up. So with the Antelope Spirit here, you're also being asked to, you know, make the first move in some area of your life. So maybe that's at work, maybe it's in relationships, maybe it's with creative projects, maybe it's with travel. Um, I do feel like with manifestation, we can ask, believe, and receive, but a part of that process is doing our own part to take action and to co-create with the universe. And this is the energy of striking while the iron is hot. So make the most of this energy because it's going to pay off in the end. Things are definitely going to begin to start moving for you. So yeah, life is going to feel like it's speeding up for you, but in the best way possible. And the next card that we have here is the Selenite card. And on the back of this card, it says, clear your path to enlightenment. So we do have this crystal in our crystal shop. So you can visit modernmusecrystals.com to learn more about this crystal and to get your hands on a piece if you want one. So um, Selenite is actually known to kind of up level our thinking, give us more mental clarity, um, it's a great tool for like studying and focusing, um, a great one for all you avid learners out there, right? But it is known as a cleansing stone, so it's a stone that can actually cleanse other crystals. Um, and you know what, let me go grab a piece of selenite real quick that I can show you. Okay, so the first type of selenite that I have is like a selenite wand. So um, a lot of people will cleanse their crystals by using a selenite wand and like just tapping and recharging their crystals, right? And then another um, selenite piece that we have in the shop is a selenite point or like a selenite tower. So yeah, you know, I also feel like selenite, um, it clears and it clears and cleanses any sort of blockages in your body and in your energetic system. It connects you with like-minded people, definitely helps with those sleepless nights. So yes. And then here we have Saturn structure. So I also feel like you're going to be stepping into a whole new level of authority and maturity during this time. You're going to be bringing in more structure in some much needed area of your life. So maybe that's going to look like better boundaries at work. Or, you know, maybe that's going to look like you bringing in more structure by creating a clear daily schedule for your toddler, right? Instead of going through the day with chaos. Um, but some of you are going, you know, some of you may be going through your Saturn return. Maybe you just finished it or you're approaching it soon. And I do feel like this is going to bring a lot of new lessons or it has already, um, you know, new insights, realizations about your personal power and authority. I also do feel like you're going to be standing up for yourself a lot more during this time. And I want you to remember that you really are the only authority in your life. So don't let people walk all over you. Don't let them tell you what to do because you have to live your life, not them. So I also feel like a lot of you are also going to be holding others accountable during this time too, because Saturn is a planet that holds us accountable. It's kind of known as like the father of the planets, right? So some of you may find some value in bringing some sort of tradition into your life. You know, like maybe every year on the anniversary of an important date, you buy yourself some flowers to show yourself some love, you know, some self-love that you so deeply deserve. So yes. Um, and then we do have a mood boost card for you. So it says, look back at it. Okay, and this card, it says, you've come a long way. Sometimes growth is so incremental that you barely realize it's happening. Mentally, bring yourself back to where it all began, especially when you're feeling stuck or discouraged. A little, a little reflection can highlight your progress. The task that's challenging you today probably isn't the same one that tripped you up a few years ago. The goal that's taking a little extra effort might have seemed completely unattainable in the past. When you see how far you've come, you start to believe that you can do it again. Keep going, keep growing. And I'm sorry if that was out of focus. But yeah, I do feel like this is a call for you to start giving yourself a lot more credit 
Um, I do feel like you've amassed a lot over um, your lifetime and the years, and I do feel like you're being asked to give yourself a lot more credit for how far you've come. I think that we can forget to give ourselves credit when it's due. So, especially when it has to do with ourself. And then we have a reflection card here. This comes from a self-care deck. Ooh, and it looks like my son drew with a marker on it, but it's all good. So this one says, when I loved myself enough, let me try to get this into focus. Okay. When I loved myself enough, I began leaving whatever wasn't healthy. This meant people, jobs, my own belief and ha oh, my own beliefs and habits, anything that kept me small. My judgment called it disloyal. Now I see it as self-loving. Kim McKillen. So this one says, take a few moments to reflect on ways you loved yourself today. What did you leave behind that wasn't healthy? Ooh. You can't make this up. We were literally just talking about letting go of, you know, people, places, and things that um, were no longer in service to our highest and best good. So thank you so much, Pile 2. I hope that this reading resonated with you. If you enjoyed today's Pick a Card and you would like to see more videos like this, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, comment below with what pile you chose, and please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. If you would love to get your hands on any of these beautiful crystals that you saw in today's reading, you can visit modernmusecrystals.com and you can learn all about these crystals and get your hands on them um, if you want a piece. So thank you so much. I will see you next time. Have a beautiful day. Bye pile two. Hi pile three. If you chose the semi-polished rhodonite point, then you are in the right place and let's dive right into your reading. Hi pile three. Ooh friend. Okay. So some of you have been ignoring your own intuition and your inner voice. So I'm wondering if you guys have been like inundated with opinions or like kind of fear-based projections from people around you. So this might sound like you're crazy to quit your sturdy, reliable job, you know? Being self-employed is hard, you know? Or it might sound like you'd be wasting your talents if you were a stay-at-home parent. Or you want to start a small business? Oh my goodness, you know most biz businesses fail within the first few years, right? Um, or, you know, maybe you've heard, be careful doing that. It didn't work out for my friend. Um, you are being asked, pile three, to say, screw all of that, okay? Because other people's personal beliefs and personal experience is just that. It's theirs. You do not have to adopt other people's stuff, okay? I feel like some of you are withdrawing your energy from toxic, draining people and situations, and you're going to be spending more time listening to your own self and your own inner truth. Now, I do feel like this is going to be a time where you silence the noise around you so that you can hear what the world is trying to communicate to you. Okay, the next card that we have here is the Hermit. So let me bring it up a little closer for everyone to see. Okay, if I stay still enough, hopefully the, the focus will stay. Okay, so um, with the Hermit reverse like this, this is a confirmation that you might end up wanting to withdraw from that excessive noise and drama from the world around you, but in a healthy way, right? So some of you might be going to a, some of you might be going to a cabin in the woods and, and unplugging for the weekend, right? Hello, social media detox, right? Much needed sometimes. Um, some of you might stop sharing your inner world and thoughts with those who you just know are not going to be supportive of you or they're not going to want to understand you. Um, I do feel like this is going to be a time when you start to discover your own personal truth. You know, for example, um, maybe you went to law school and you just realized that, you know what, I don't have to be a lawyer just because my parents wanted me to. Uh, I can go and be a, a pottery, uh, uh, you know, a pottery. I can be a piece of pottery. I guess you could. But I could go create pottery and have my own shop with like clay pots because that's my favorite, favorite thing to do. Right? That's just one example. Um, I also feel like you're going to be a lot more selective with who you allow into your private inner world. Um, I can even hear some of you saying, I will not let other people walk through my mind with their dirty feet. Um, I also feel like this is a, fr a phase of reevaluation, reprioritizing, and aligning with the values that matter the most to you. So, you know, some of you may also be 
like meeting someone who is an important mentor or someone that would give you some really great guidance. Um, and maybe this is someone that you look up to as a role model and they would be beneficial to you and your growth and especially as it has to do with your intuition. Both the High Priestess and the Hermit here speak to um, either coming cr across a much needed mentor or you actually being in that position of mentoring somebody in need. So the next card that we have is the Bear card and on the back of it, it says, Be Fierce, Be Gentle. Okay, so I do feel like some of you have been, I don't want to say like at war with yourself, but it's almost like finding this balance between taming your like inner instincts. Like I, I feel like there's a lot of mama bear energy on this reading. You don't necessarily have to be the mother of human children. You can have, um, you know, fur babies. You can, you know, be a, an aunt, an uncle, um, you know, somebody, a teacher somebody who just has such a mothering, nurturing energy, you know, like in a group of friends, there's always that one person who's always looking out for everybody, always taking care. Um, and they got that, you know, that mama bear energy. They're gonna, they're gonna show up and blow up for you, right? They're gonna be there whenever it is that you need them to be there for you because they got your back like that. And I do feel like you're being asked to identify who those people are for you. Who are your ride or dies? Who are those people who will support you no matter what the heck you're doing, right? I mean, as long as it's being kind and safe and all that jazz. But yeah, you're just being asked to basically go ahead and identify who it is that like goes in for you fear with, with fierceness, right? Um, and I do feel like you also are super gentle at your, like, at your nature. Um, right? Because bears are very like gentle and graceful um, when you observe them and you're not like antagonizing them. So anyway, what do I know about bears? But <laughs> that is the message for you guys. Be fierce, be gentle, period. I don't feel like I have to say too much about that. Um, but yeah, I do feel like, I do feel like, okay, here is the next card. So we have the electric eel spirit. I love this card. Okay, so I want to know, have you guys been like metaphorically bitten by like a spark of creative inspiration? Because you know what? I feel like there's this like undeniable spark of energy or creation that is just stirring up within you. If you haven't felt it yet, don't worry about it. It's literally on its way. It's real. I just feel it. It's close. So um, but some of you, you've already been bitten by the spark and you want to take action on these dreams, right? So yeah, I do feel like you got to ask yourself, what's that one thing that you would do if you absolutely knew that you'd be supported on all levels, right? Who, can, what, like if you knew that your rider dies, right? And like, I, I want to make one other little caveat here. Nobody's going to go harder for you than you. You got to be your biggest brand ambassador, right? That's nobody else's job. However, there are people out there that want to support you, but also be your biggest, um, your own biggest cheerleader as well. But okay, back to the electric eel spirit. <laughs> what would you do if you knew that you would absolutely be 100% supported on, right? On all levels. Um, I do feel like I have a lot of dreamers in this pile and I feel like your mind is like a wellspring for a bounty of fresh ideas and new perspectives. I mean, admit it to yourself. I do feel like you have a lot of creative genius within you. So this is your sign to go ahead and take the leap. Give it a shot because it's going to be worth it. Um, you know, if you're looking for love and abundance and happiness and, and joy and all of that, um, just know that it's already yours and you just have to decide that you are worthy of it, you know? So this is a really good sign in this deck. Opportunities are going to be absolutely favorable for you. Okay, the next card that we have is the Adventurine card. So um, Adventurine, it says show off your sparkle. And I wanna talk about green Adventurine. There's a few different um, varieties and colors, but I wanna talk about green Adventurine. So we do actually have this crystal in stock at the Modern Muse Crystal Shop. It's my crystal shop and you can visit it at modernmusecrystals.com. Let me actually go grab a piece of um, adventuring from the inventory real quick, one second. 
Okay, ooh. This is one of my favorites. This has been flying off the shelves too. Um, and y'all need to come get her before I purchase her for myself because I love her. So Green Adventuring, this is really, really just such a beautiful stone. It's known as the Stone of Prosperity. And it's also associated with benefits like, you know, people um, think, people think, it is known, it is known. Um, it's associated with bringing people wealth, prosperity, abundance, right? It really encourages the energy of luck. So it's thought to increase good fortune in your life. It's thought to um, improve your self-confidence. It's really a nice little stress stress, stress soother as well. Um, and it encourages like emotional well-being and um, self-care. So I love it. It's like an all-in-one stone. It's associated with the heart chakra. It's just absolutely one of my favorite stones. So yes, you the message here is that you are probably being called to work with like a calm, soothing, lucky um, energy. And if you'd like to work with Green Adventuring, you can definitely check out modernmusecrystals.com. You can learn more about this crystal in depth and you can get your hands on a piece if you want one. So let me just tuck my little buddy back there. Or you know what? Let's just let's leave her in the shot so we can see her since it's the crystal of the video. Okay, perfect. So the next card that we have here is debilitated, and this one says discomfort. So the first thing I want to point out here is that um, in terms of numerology, let me actually bring this closer. Okay, so in terms of numerology, we've got a 14 here, right? So when we reduce it, it becomes a five, and five in numerology is associated with change, right? With divine intervention, with things like clearing the old so that we can make room for new things to come into our life. Like if you've been seeing a lot of 555 out there, right, on the clocks, maybe on license plates, just on billboards, that kind of thing, you're being... Um, just reminded by the universe that you are supported in whatever big transition or change is coming your way. And it can be a little change as well. It doesn't have to be like a big life-changing thing. But um, I just want to talk a little bit more about this card. So this comes from the Astro deck. I'll make sure that I link everything in um, all the decks in the description for you guys. It's always there for you guys if you like the decks that we um, talk about and work with today. Um, yeah. This adventuring is trying to make its way to someone. It's like trying to run away and be in your in your um, home. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, I do feel like some of you are being stretched outside of your comfort zone in some area of your life. Um, some of you may have just learned a new skill that you're getting pretty good at, if you don't say so yourself. Um, you know, maybe it feels like you're sitting on the porch with the big dogs, even though you're still in the puppy phase. Um, but you're being asked to go ahead and take on the role of the listener and the learner and the quiet observer, right? Because, you know, one brilliant thing that I've noticed in people who um, are really successful is that they know when to leave their ego at the door and just listen, right? And listen to what people are circulating around them, not necessarily listen to what people are telling you to do with your life, but just to observe what they're saying, what they're not saying, and what they're doing, right? Because we can actually learn wondrous things on the periphery when it is, um, you know, just that phase of our life. And when we're waiting our turn to be in the spotlight, we can actually learn a lot by just opening our eyes and our ears. So, yes. The next card that comes here is a Real Talk card. So this card says, best next step. And I apologize if it's not um, the clearest <clears throat> or in focus, but it says, what's your next move? Sometimes you're so focused on finding the finish line that you forget to take the first step. Make it, easy on, make it easier on yourself by defining the smallest possible way you could make forward progress. Sorry guys, I hold, <laughs> I hold a piece of um, blue appetite sometimes when I am speaking because this is a really beautiful stone for communication speakers um, so public speaking it's a great tool anyway this one's in the in the crystal shop as well modernmusecrystals.com but anyway um, it says you know make it easier on yourself by defining the smallest possible way you could make forward progress 
do research, send an email, make an appointment. Don't let yourself stay frozen. Take your next best step. Let the momentum carry you into your next step. These micro movements lead to a major headway. So beautiful. I love that. You, I think the message is pretty clear there for you guys. Um, it's just kind of determining what's that next best step for you. Um, and to do that one thing, no matter how simple it is to move the needle forward towards your goals and your dreams, right? And sometimes the journey isn't about like pursuing goals and dreams and chasing after all that all the time. Sometimes we're just meant to live our beautiful human life and and your day might just revolve around you waking up and taking care of yourself and doing the best that you can. You know what I mean? So don't put too much pressure on yourself to always be chasing goals. I think that gets us caught up in like <sighs> this like tiring achievement loop. I know I've definitely been guilty of it before too. So yes. Okay, and then we have a reflection card from one of my favorite self-care decks. And this one here says, um, to be a good parent, I'm just going to put it down because I bet you guys can't see it from that distance anyway, just the lighting and everything. But um, you know what? You won't be able to see it if I don't put the whole thing in frame. Okay, there we go. So it says, to be a good parent, you need to take care of yourself so that you can have the physical and emotional energy to take care of your family. Michelle Obama. So if you are a parent to a child or a pet, what are your favorite ways to take care of yourself? How can you ensure that you have time for these each day? That's crazy. We were just talking about like being a parent with like the bear card and um, having that really nurturing in, um, instinct within you. So yes, definitely I do feel like you're being drawn to ask, how can you take better care of yourself? Maybe you just need a solid eight hours of eight hours of sleep tonight, you know, and that'll do it for a second. Um, but anyway, yes, thank you so much, Pile 3. I hope that this reading resonated with you. If you enjoyed today's Pick a Card reading and you'd like to see more videos like this, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a like. Comment down below with what pile you chose and what resonated. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Um, if you are interested in getting your hands on any of these beautiful crystals that you saw in today's video. Um, I also forgot to mention that I do make um, handmade custom bracelets for the shop as well. We've got some aquamarine on this side and I love aquamarine because it's just a beautiful stone and it actually, um, you know what, I like to share this little tidbit. Um, way back in the day, um, and you know what, I'm, I'm going to put this on the side because I feel like she's taking over the conversation. Um, but aquamarine, sea merchants used to carry aquamarine with them when they were traveling over like really rough and rocky seas way back in the day to ensure safe travels. So I really like this. I'm a huge traveler myself and I love to have aquamarine when I'm traveling. Um, but even when I'm on the road, just going, you know, on my daily, um, you know, routes, I, I love to have aquamarine. It's just a really fun, positive, bubbly um, energy. They call it the mermaid stone. And then I did make um, some rhodonite pieces, which is like about compassion and self-love with a 14 karat gold filled little um, accent there. And then I do also have a mix of blue lace agate and white moonstone. So anyway, Modern Muse Crystals, if you're interested, love you guys so much. Have a beautiful day. Bye.